so next here we are going to learn about you know how to create a function module which can return of type table okay so far what we learned is returning simple values only but sometimes we may get a requirement to return the table type also oh yeah this is very important that's why you know i am i will teach you this now okay so now in order to you know complete this one first of all we need to learn, you know, think about what is our requirement okay so what i am going to do is i am going to take one table okay i am going to this g material info object and then p table okay in the p table of this material info object i have some data okay now my requirement is i will to the function module i will provide the material type information so i will pass t01 as a input to the material type and i want all the materials assigned to this material type okay all the materials that are assigned to this material type i want it as an output it means this is not a single output for 201 we have multiple materials assigned to it so if it is a single value then i can define a function module of type so you know sing, simple parameter but for t01 since we have multiple values assigned then i can return this information only via table format okay so for that purpose now what i am going to do i am going to create a table uh, structure okay so in order to return a, a table kind of output structure now let's see how to create a function module for it okay so now um, let's go to here try to create a function module okay uh, where is function module screen yeah this is so now uh, let's first think about what was the function module name gfm underscore okay mm, material okay material list i am giving the uh, function module as material list okay it contains one import parameter called material type and it must return a table output what it is a return table output of you know stuck um, table output like let's take the table name as lt underscore material and the output what was the data type of this material uh, table uh, table it must contain material information material type information and uh, if possible because you know uh, anyway i am reading data from this particular table i can if i if i need i can you know bring the material weight also met you know met weight so but if i take weight i need to take the corresponding unit also so let's uh, leave it uh, at this point of time let's take these two okay so for this particular function module i am going to provide material type as an input and i am expecting a table as an output the table must contain a structure called material and material type so when i am saying itself i am telling clearly my returning is a table of structure material material type it means so when i when you are defining this i will let me go here so first i am going to create my function module so i am giving technical name here and then click on create button so i need to assign to function group i am giving function group short text uh, material info for material type okay for given material type click on save button click on okay so as the import parameter i am going to give material type mat underscore type and what was the uh, you know data element for this one to get the data element i can go to this material table and check the material type data element so this was the data element copy it give it here so i define the import parameter so it is export so this export parameter we use if it is of type only single value okay because my requirement is to return the table i must define it under table section okay so on table section i must define a, you know output uh, table here lt underscore material but when i am defining here the table here on the associated type okay on the associated type either it must be of table type or it must be a structure okay so in the requirement i thought of i want to return a table of type in structure material and material type but as of now we don't have any structure defined 
it is not local structure it is a global structure i need to provide here so in that in this case first thing is i need to create one structure for my output okay so gst underscore material underscore you know um since gst underscore since i am you creating the structure for function module i am creating gst underscore fm underscore material so i am going to create a structure now how to create a structure go to sc11 under data type radio button provide your structure name create click on create button and select you are going to create a structure okay click on ok button and then you know um, structure for uh, i am creating the structure for this function module so i am giving the function module name and as i told you my structure must contain two fields what are the two fields one is the material field like this one slash bsc slash material is one column and the other column is material type so when you're defining these two columns you need to provide the data type also so data type i am giving from the data element copy i am giving component type as the uh, data element name and material type uh, component type also as a data element name okay 18 and 3 and then activate so now by this what you are done you are done with the creation of one structure warnings not required so now copy this structure name and provide it as a associated type for your table type so um, enter press enter one sec i think here i need to give like mm. so on the typing you must provide the like okay lt material is of table type of structure gst fm material in the programmatical also when you define a table you will define with respect to structure information only right so same thing happening here you are defining a table lt material of structure gst tfm material so this structure we created with the two columns material and material type okay now we are going to the source code and uh, you know trying to return this uh, table output based upon the input of material type so how to write we can make it very simple we can write very complex logics also in function module but as a learning purpose we are learning with simple examples my lt material must be the you know so i am writing a select statement on my p table of my you know um, p table with uh, you know selecting the fields material so i am selecting material field and then material type field from which table from my p table into table because now uh, you know already select statement syntax we are selecting the fields from this p table and into your one of the local table so here the local table here is nothing but lt material because lt material was defined under table section now it is nothing but a material table lt material where so i am writing a where condition because i don't want all the data from the p table i want the data which is related to this material type given material type so i am selecting a where you know where condition on material type where material type is equal to the value which is available on the material type field that's it activate so at the end you are returning the output to the lt material internal table with the required fields structure of this hfs mat activate now click on execute button now if i try to give here t01 click on execute button not debugging execute button so now you see it similarly oh, one second so if i click on this eight entries i can see all these materials m1 m13 16 18 are related to t01 if i want to check for t02 just to go one step back and give t02 and click on execute button you, uh, i got 11 materials from the t level t02 material type okay so this is how we create a function module which can be written of type table now if i wish to consume this particular function module in my program it's a uh, uh, you know it already so by first copy the function module name go to pattern select provide your function module it will give like this 
so material type you must provide one material type so what i am going to do i am defining one parameter section p underscore mat underscore type uh, okay sorry mat, mat type type so what type i need to define here i need to go to table to get the data element of material type so i am creating a selection screen to provide material type information and to receive this output of this function module lt material i must define one table here lt underscore material type standard standard table of so i need to define a table to to receive the output of this function module so the output of this function module must be when i am defining this table it must be defined the same data type which we are using in the function module so in the function module when what uh, data type i defined with this material so this is the structure i am using so i am going to use the same structure so now i can uh, lt underscore material here i can pass p underscore mat type Ready printer check so if i want to display the output on the output screen i need to loop to this uh, you know lt underscore material into using inline declaration i can create work area and i can write simply the material information ls underscore material there is no space so that's why it is not coming material hyphen material information i can write here activate execute um, by giving the you know if i go to f4 help uh, maybe yeah from data element it is taking that f4 help but if you give t01 and click on execute button you see it will display all the materials so what happened if i put breakpoint here and click on execute one more time i am selecting giving t01 clicking on execute button when i press f5 it is going inside of it it is taking material type t01 and at this point of time my internal table contains zero records when i press f1 this selection will execute successfully eight records came here and then it is written to the program it displayed all the eight records what happens if i giving you know that text which is not available let's check t09 and click on execute button since there is no data what happens if when i press f5 it goes here and this select statement returning size of rc4 why because there is no records with t0 and data type it comes out of it now lt material is null you know it doesn't give any output that's it if you if we give some other name also it doesn't give anything okay so like this we can create a function module of type you know which is returning of type table also so it's a very simple concept so we'll know how to create function module how to utilize standard function modules in the program too okay why this concept is important because in a day to day uh, in, a, uh, in our transformation sometimes there is a requirement to create our own function module or to utilize the existing standard function modules to derive some of the ones and now from now on if you go to any function module you can easily understand how exactly you know it was defined you know so to our bet for the better understanding so i'm stopping recording